Kadian ka jing buon ki pa patsha e ka jing tmo jong ka sorkar pan ai pinyai ka MECL ha ki company shimel. Ka kan hun mentri ha ka ni ka sni balang ka ashimi ka rai bala pensang e no ya ka ti ka jing tmo. Ha bakren bat ki la patai kubor u mentri rang ba ka jela konrat ki sang maula ong. Ba e ka ti ka rai ban ka shan no hi da ka sorkar ka MECL ka dei ha dien ka jing yata e ka basani ba ha ka kan hun mentri. Even as we speak, a large number of them are in Garo Hills. Some are there in Kasi Hills also, and some are there in Jente Hills also. So across the state, the DFs have been there for quite some time. It's not a new concept. With that background, yesterday, the power department, led by the power minister himself and the chairman of MECL, had a detailed meeting with me, which lasted for quite some time where they have shown the different aspects of power and also different steps that they will take to ensure that the reforms take place to achieve the overall revenue that is expected and also to reduce the ATNC losses if given a chance. And they stressed again yesterday that the DF option should not be taken. Similarly, I had a meeting and a discussion with the employees of MECL also, and they have also expressed similar concerns in line with what the Honorable Minister Power has said, that DF option may not be taken and state government may give full budgetary provision. And uh, the MECL and its staff and engineers and the department would work together to ensure that the different targets that in case are put in will also uh, be achieved. Today in the cabinet, all these aspects of what are the pros of going with DF, what are the cons of going with DF, and similarly what are the pros and cons of not going with DF were presented to the cabinet. It was also clarified to the cabinet that uh, these funds are going to come out from the same pool of resources that the state government has. So therefore, any payment or any support that is given, which will be, as I said, a budgetary provision, will come out in case we have to pay, will come out from the overall development budget of the state, therefore impacting the overall development aspect also. So all these aspects were made very clear to the cabinet. And in the cabinet meeting, I also expressed the concerns that the power minister had given and the cabinet also heard that and considering the request that has been put in by the power minister, the power department, the MECL management and the MECL employees and giving the commitment that reforms will take place. The cabinet today decided that we will give a chance to the MECL and to the power department with 100% budgetary support for the Atmanirbal loan. But these, this support of 100% will come along with certain targets that need to be met in a time-bound manner. And number two, that there has to be some kind of a security in terms of mortgage of assets to the government of Meghalaya to ensure that there is some kind of safety and security for the state government also. So with that, we concluded the meeting and uh, we have asked the finance department and the power department to work out in detail the different targets that the power department and MECL specifically will achieve. And uh, based on that, uh, we will move forward. But uh, to REC and to PFC, we will be informing them that the 100% budgetary support will be given by the state government, which is what REC and PFC also wanted in the initial stage. But keeping the finances in mind, the state government's finance department felt that we should change that. And that is when the changes came in. So therefore, REC and PFC will not have any issue with this either. They will be happy uh, when uh, state government gives a budgetary support to them.